Hello, welcome back to the Bridgeport Diaries and uh, let's have a look what's in store today. So I've got a set of engine cases that are being cast at the moment, they're away for heat treatment and the, one of the first jobs is going to be to uh, face off fly cut the, the outside mating faces of the engine cases. So this is a full size diagram, it's a drawing of, of the engine case. So obviously it would be a bit taller off the table but what I need to do is to run a fly cutter around the uh, circumference of the, the edges so that they've got a nice mating surface. Problem I've got is that this is quite a large uh, thing to get onto the milling machine. So when the center of the spindle comes to this side, it's so large that this edge of it kind of crashes into the, the back of the machine. So I've had to move the whole head forward. The problem is though, by moving the whole head forward, it means that when I'm cutting this part here, um, this is clear, which is great, but when I'm cutting this part here and the center of the spindle is over, over this way, I run out of travel on the table because the table uh, has got a limited movement. So what I'm planning to do is to put a quite a large diameter fly cutter on so I, I can get away with coming around inside uh, a bit and, and the outside of the cutter is still going to cut the, the metal away. So I've, I've, that's the plan and what this is for is to make sure that everything clears and I don't reach the limit of the table and I don't crash into the the back of the machine. So it's only a paper drawing of the plan but it is full size. I've written the g-code to do that operation and of course if anything's wrong at this point when the paper hits the back of the machine it just just ruffles the paper so it's, it's not a disaster. I don't want to spoil the actual um, the actual metal once it's been cut. So the, the code's quite simple, it doesn't look anything fancy, it's really um, a circle with a square on it and when I press the, the play button on here it should off we go, go and trace that circle. So with any look We'll have enough clearance as we go all the way around the circumference. This is running a bit faster than uh, normal cutting speed, obviously. You wouldn't fly cut at, at this feed rate, but I just wanted to make sure that there's enough clearance. So as we go around the circumference, the table and move this way, make sure that we don't run out of right on the edge of the the limit of travel but we haven't gone past it and then as we come round to the other side make sure that we don't run out of travel here and mind it doesn't whack you in the nuts as well <laughs> so we're okay there we haven't touched the back of the machine and the last thing is to make sure that we don't crash into the wall. Fingers crossed, which we just miss when we're in that corner there. And that'll take us back to the beginning. And that means that this program, as long as I bolt the patterns onto the table exactly here, and not further over this way or that way, I will be able to fly cut the outside of the engine cases without crashing the machine. So that's what I've been doing the, the past couple of days on the Bridgeport CNC. Thanks for watching.